Hi, welcome to my craft room. This is the first in a series for the beginner stamper and knowledge is your best tool. I've been teaching stamping for 13 years and I've seen lots of changes but the basics are still paper, ink, and stamps. And I'm going to share with you what to look for and then we're going to see how Stampin' Up! products measure up to this criteria. First of all, cardstock. It measures 8.5 by 11. What you're looking for is you're looking for 80 pound weight. And usually the packaging does not tell you. And I even looked in our catalog and it doesn't tell in there. But I'm going to show you a way to know what is a good weight. So if you take a hold of the cardstock and as this falls to the side, you can tell this has very little bend to it. So this tells you this is a high quality of cardstock. Stampin' Up's cardstock also is dyed all the way through. It doesn't have a white core. It comes in four different families, plus we have two insets. Stampin' Up has thought about that beginner stamper getting started. So on page 174 of our catalog, our large catalog, there you're going to find a selection of 24 sheets that have been combined together for you. This is six of those sheets, so you'll, you can see that you're going to get a really nice array of color. Two each in 12 different colors. If you go to my website, I have all those colors listed there just for you. So now we've got our cardstock, so next let's start cutting. When purchasing a paper cutter, you want to invest in a good one. I purchased this when I started up with Stampin' Up! last October, um, but the one I'd had before, it was a, also a Fiskar, and I'd had that thing for probably 11, 12 years and used it continuously. The only thing you're really replacing is the blade. And let me just show you how to put that blade in and take it out. It's very, very simple. Do not try to take the blade out when it's at the far end. You want to bring it into the center, put your fingers in there, and just pull that ruler portion apart slightly, and it'll pop right out, and then you can pop in a new blade. When it comes, it's going to have a plastic protective cover on that, and you just want to take this off. And this is a score blade that also will come with that. But because I've always used my bone folder for doing my scoring on my cardstock. I kind of still do that. So I'm going to show you what I do and but be sure and try this. You may really like it. So let's just snap it right back in there and that's just all there is to it. We're going to take our 11 by 8 and a half, slide this in and one thing that might be kind of confusing to you because you're cutting this 11 11 inch sheet of paper in half and so sometimes it's kind of confusing to find that half so I recommend that you go to the six and then come back to the half and now let's just butt our paper right up to that mark make sure that you have it flush with the black top portion check twice you're a beginner stamper so check twice so that you only have to cut once and you don't make mistakes I've been a beginner once upon a time too and I know sometimes we we can get confused real easy. All right, now all you're going to do is glide this up and voila, now you have two card bases. I'm going to show you next how to score this and you think why do I need to score it? Because you want to break down that fibers in this paper so that it's very very simple for you to fold it without there being any buckling. So this is eight and a half, so we're going to go half of that, which will be four and a quarter. Once again, double check, make sure you've got that correctly. And I just use my bone folder and I start right up here, just before you get to the cardstock, you can put it into that groove and I just bring it down. That's all there is to it. Can you see that? This is our valley. This is our mountain, and what you want to do is you want to fold in on the mountain. So let me just show you real quickly how to do that. So what I do is I match up my two cut edges, like so. Then I take my hand and I use it as a grip to hold that down, and then I gently begin to push this forward. And there you have it. Voila. And it's a really nice fold. 
go to my website, um, click on the link below, and there I have listed all of the colors of cardstock in the Getting Started collection for you. Check back next week for, I'm going to be doing eight series for the Beginner Stamper. And next week we're talking about stamps. So come back. I'll see you then.